So this is one of my requests. People have asked me to make something Korean, and this is one of my favourite midweek dishes or a weekend dish. It's cauliflower that has been made really crispy and coated with a gochujang Korean chili paste, which is a fermented chili paste. This one, if you can hunt out the one from the Oriental supermarket, some supermarkets might do this version, but this is the best version. The supermarket versions are a bit, you know, uh, watered down. This is much better. This is like a soybean paste. It's been um, fermented and then it's been injected with lots of um, chili and lots of different other spices. It's absolutely amazing. And yeah, I, I love it. We're gonna make a nice sticky glaze to go with the roasted cauliflower and serve it with rice and sesame seeds. So here's the cauliflower. I've cut it into sort of bite-sized chunks like this. And what we're gonna do is do a um, crispy sort of coating that. And that is just made out of a mixture of corn flour and plain flour, one tablespoon of each. And I'm just going to season that with a bit of salt and pepper. We don't need to have too much flavouring at this point because we are going to coat it in that lovely uh, Korean gochujang paste. So I'm just going in with a bit of salt and pepper into the corn flour and plain flour to make almost like a batter. So you get that. Pour it all over and then give it a bit of a mix. And then I'm going to quickly flash fry it and finish it off in my oven with the chilli paste that we're going to make. Oh, it's going everywhere. Okay, there we go, just roughly done. And then into my hot frying pan. I'm just going to sort of toast it off to give it a little bit of colour. Put vegetable oil in there, it's nice and hot, and then in. There we go. Give the sizzle. Let that take on a bit of colour. And then we make the chili paste. Now that we're starting to get a little bit of colour on there and there's a bit of a crispy coating from a bit of the flour and corn flour, we're going to transfer that into a baking tray so we can make the chilli sauce. Baking tray. And then while we are cooking the chilli paste, I'm just going to pop that into the oven for about five minutes. Just keep warm and keep on cooking while I make the chilli paste. While we make our chilli paste, we're I'm sure I'm saying it wrong. Gochujang? I think it's gochujang. Um, Korean chili paste, basically. Gochujang. Gochujang. I just need to practice it. I just need to be saying it. It's very sticky, look, as you can see. Really, really sticky. And lovely deep colour. Mix that around with the chili and the garlic paste. I've lowered the heat now, so it's on a little bit of a lower heat. And then I'm also gonna go in with some sweetness, because we've got a lot of umami flavors there, very deep and savory. So I'm gonna go in with one very heat tablespoon of honey. You can also use maple syrup. It will be nice with maple syrup or honey. If you don't have either, then substitute with some brown sugar, that'll be fine too. And then that off for a bit. I'm just going to put a little bit of water in the saucer. And turn the heat 
up. And we're gonna get a nice chili paste to coat our cauliflower in. So now my chili paste is done, that can nicely cover and coat my cauliflower to make it all nice and sticky. Let me get that up. rice is nice. I've just done some basmati rice. That's what I had there. I only washed it once because I want it to be quite sticky. So on top of the rice, we're going to put the cauliflower on top and then finish it off with some garnish. Okay, the cauliflower is ready now. It's been in there for about 20 minutes now. And here is what it should look like. Quite um, caramelised and sticky. Let's plate up. So on a bed of rice, I'm going to get some of this sticky cauliflower in the gochujang sauce. I'm really practicing my pronunciation here, which has been coated in a crispy coating, and then roasted. And to that, we're going to finish it off with some mixed toasted sesame seeds. I like using a mixture of black and white sesame seeds generously. And then for crunch we're going to add some spring onions and for the colour and then finish it off with a final flurry of red chilli. And there you have it, my sticky Korean gochujang cauliflower topped with sesame seeds spring onion on a bed of rice, which is like accidentally vegan too. I really hope you enjoyed this recipe.